sitting on a porch, counting out small items in her hand, loading them in a glass pipe, and firing it up. A minute later, the same woman gets up with the white stuff in the plastic bag, moves to a nearby porch, sets out a syringe, and starts preparing the next batch. She drops the syringe, picks it off the ground, and continues the process right in the open at Dixie and Hill. An intersection like none other, according to my analysis of LMPD's crime tracker, with 26 arrests here over the past six months, almost all for drugs like cocaine, heroin, and meth. That's because people like these two stand out along the road for hours every day advertising their goods, disappearing between these two houses when a customer arrives, then the customer emerges a minute later counting items in the palm of his hand. Business is so good, he comes back again an hour later and comes back out checking the apparent purchase in his hand. Similar activity at this house goes all day with wrapped plastic bags containing something white, then continues well into the night. Dozens of people going in and coming back out after spending a couple of minutes inside. The drive through is busy too. Cars pulling up for a couple of minutes and the sellers come to the passenger side window. Sometimes police pull up and move them along. How difficult is this to observe? I'm videotaping the same things others can see just sitting in a car here at the intersection. Day or night, point a camera in any direction and you see what life is really like here at Dixie and Hill. It's a place where police park or patrol constantly. When they leave, these people open the back hatch of their vehicle, trying to sell what appear to be handguns flashing in the streetlights. It's a place where prostitution flourishes. Women know where to stand so cops don't see them, but the customers can. It's a place where hand-to-hand -hand transactions from parking lots to sidewalks are nonstop. It's a place where flashing lights are continuous too. These lights catch my eye on November 20th. A car pulled over in the rallies lot. Two more patrol cars arrive for backup. The people inside are searched, hands on the car. Then police spend several minutes searching the car. After police pull away, I ask the driver what happened. They coming from the opposite side, but they watched us ride past and then turned around and went behind us. And then, okay. and then, and then used that to excuse to pull us over that uh, my plate wasn't laminated. According to the citation, he was charged with having a non-illuminated license plate, suspended driver's license, and no insurance. He doesn't understand why he was searched for that. They looking for stuff that ain't even in there. You know what I mean? They looking for stuff that they trying to find something, reaching, trying what to find they, anything they can. What they say to you when they were doing that? They was just like, we about to search the car. They ain't even really asked for it, they just did it type thing, you know what I mean? Why would an officer need to search a car because of an unilluminated license plate and a no driver's license? Yeah, so like I said, I can't speak to that stop specifically because I wasn't that officer there and I haven't looked into that stop. So just in fairness to the officer and the person that was stopped, I can't go into that. LMPD won't comment on that stop and search, but Sergeant Lamont Washington will address the overall problem here. He says there's no easy answer and you can't police your way out of situations like this. It's an intricate dance because you don't want to police that area so heavy that people don't feel comfortable going to that area, that it's a, it's a hassle, right? But you also don't want people to feel comfortable uh, turning tricks in a parking lot of a gas station, doing a hand-to-hand -hand transaction. I'm John Bull with Wave 3. Back at Dixie and Hill, the woman I videotaped at the beginning of this report doesn't want to talk. Ma'am, is this house right back here selling drugs? Oh, no, bad, no houses, don't leave. Ma'am, I've seen you here, so you would know. A man who lives at the home where I videotape the most activity will do an interview. And I see people using drugs right here. I videotape people uh, uh, right shooting up and smoking from, crack right here. From my house. And I don't even know nothing about it. Most towns sleep. The people standing out in front of here, though, selling drugs, do you know them? No. You ever say, move it on somewhere I, else? All the time. All the time? It don't do no good. It comes right back. 